So I'm Melanie Simpson. I'm a professor and the department head of molecular and structural biochemistry. And so as a fellow, I've had um, a unique opportunity to really um, implement a number of the, the elements of our plan um, in real time as we've gone through developing it. Um, we've developed a rather comprehensive plan, and so I've focused on just a few key elements, but I'm happy to go into more detail if there's time for discussion. Our overall approach um, was really to be intentional about our development of a culture of inclusion and a climate for success. And in so doing, we identified three levels that, that would require our attention, um, faculty, doctoral students, and the overall departmental culture. And so in this summary, um, I'll go through each of these briefly. Um, at the faculty level, um, a couple of bullet points. Our goal was to mentor and recognize success of a diverse faculty and to expect and assess inclusivity. Um, and so we've done a few things. One, we have um, used language in our recent faculty position advertisements that includes a, a statement of the importance of diversity for our department and for the college and the university. And we have also requested um, a one-page diversity statement from applicants I charged each of our faculty search committees with considering all elements of the applications, including the diversity statement and applicants who rose to the top but did not provide a diversity statement were asked to provide one before we would um, conduct an interview with those, with those faculty. So there, um, our faculty candidates have all come in with the expectation that they will uphold um, that an attention to inclusivity. In addition, our early career faculty have a formal mentoring program, and that includes guidance on uh, work life and position apportionment balance. And so this is particularly important for early career faculty and particularly er early career faculty with diverse backgrounds because they're often called upon um, disproportionately to contribute service and or teaching and so this is intended to not only promote awareness among faculty, but also to protect early career faculty balance. And finally, um, our RPT rules, we have um, begun to, we modified our RPT rules formally and now expect documentation and assessment from each faculty member, early career and all uh, ranks, um, and documentation of their efforts to support diversity and inclusion and we um, evaluate them as a departmental vote, voting faculty in conjunction with the other activities and realms. At the student level, um, for our students, we already had been using a graduate handbook. So we use a number of best practices for recruitment, retention, and training of students. The graduate handbook now has been revised so that it is very detailed, has expectations and milestones for students, and provides resources and contacts for them as um, first line uh, approaches. Our DGP also meets with each of the students more than twice per semester um, and as needed. There is, we have a peer mentoring program and a tutoring program as needed that every student is able to access. Um, each of the peer mentors is not just a buddy, but is also charged with holding an at least monthly meeting with their peer mentee. Um, and so in that way, the, the peer mentors have recognition and accountability for their efforts. We hold an annual orientation for our graduate students. And in this one week program, we include intentionally uh, training in ethics, academic integrity. Um, we construct work with students, not just the first years, but also the, the students at more senior levels and our postdocs are invited to join as we construct individual development plans. And we also have discussions of imposter syndrome, microaggression, um, elements of diversity and inclusion in the culture intentionally as part of the orientation. Um, we have a new, newly revised and implemented core curriculum that is very structured. We have seminar series and journal clubs, um, opportunities for students to develop training in, in hypothesis development, proposal development, networking, 
um, and we partner with the graduate school to make sure that we also involve our students in programs like the Accelerate to Industry, um, commensurate with their, their professional interests. And finally, we have also begun now using rubrics that we developed um, as part of the orientation in conjunction with all of the students and at all ranks, and also with faculty input. The rubrics ensure consistency in annual progress evaluation and also in the comprehensive exam evaluations. And these are living documents that we revisit and revise annually. And then our final slide is on culture. And this, as you may imagine, is a more subtle and complex um, uh, hallmark to, um, to pursue and evaluate in an ongoing basis. But importantly, what we did, um, we had our academic program review last year and in our self-study process as a faculty and with input from students, we developed a five-year strategic plan and, and a chapter within the, the five-year plan was diversity inclusion focused. So we now are able to hold ourselves annually accountable to the action items that we developed for the strategic plan as a department. Um, this is a key element in our, in our ongoing sustainable plan for um, a culture of diversity and inclusion. We have also um, really increased our um, focus on celebrating our successes as a department, making it very public to our, the members of the department when someone passes comprehensives or publishes a paper, awards that are received or nominated. Um, we have a seminar committee that is that includes members of the faculty of all ranks and is a diverse committee, has a student representative and they're charged with um, making sure that our annual um, seminar, external seminar um, schedule is diverse and represents a variety of um, speakers of all demographics. And finally, our, our departmental climate is now being assessed annually. We use, um, at, Every semester, um, we use tailored questions on student evaluations to assess diversity and inclusion in the classroom and their perception of it, as well as departmental climate surveys, surveys that were inspired from surveys done through this program. 